digit numbers 201 to 300. Starry, why have you spread these sticker pages with stars everywhere? Come on, let's pick up all the sticker pages and clear up this place. Starry, each sticker page here has 10 stars. Do you know how many sticker pages are there? Okay, 10 pages. There are 10 tens, so 100 stars. Starry, there is one more sticker page. It has only 3 stars. I think you have used the rest. Can you tell me, Starry, how many stars are there in all? Yes, 103 stars. Suppose we add 10 more pages of stars, then which number will be formed, Starry? Hmm, 20 tens gives 200 and there are 3 ones. So the number formed is 203. Similarly, other numbers in the series 201 to 300 can be formed. Look at these garlands of beads. Each garland has 10 beads. There are 24 such garlands. Let us group these garlands with 10 garlands in each group. How many groups are formed, Starry? Yes, two groups. Four garlands are left. So we get 20 garlands of 10 beads each and four garlands with 10 beads each remaining. 20 tens and four tens. 20 tens means 200. Four tens means 40. Do we have any garland with less than 10 flowers? No. So there are zero ones. Thus, the number formed is 240. Okay now, Starry. Let us read all the numbers from 201 to 300 in a sequence. You have to repeat with me. 201 202 203 204 205 206 207 208 209 210 211 212 213 214 215 216 217 218 219 220 221 222 223 224 225 
226 227 228 229 230 231 232 233 234 235 236 237 238 239 240 241 242 243 244 245 246 247 248 249 250 251 252 253 254 255 256 257 258 259 260 261 262 263 264 265 266 267 268 269 270 271 272 273 274 275 276 277 278 279 280 281 282 283 284 285 286 287 288 289 290 291 292 293 294 295 296 297 298 299 300 It's time to solve some examples now. Fill in the missing numbers in this number strip. Let us first read the numbers given. 234 237 241 245 Can you tell which numbers are missing, Starry? 
Yes, the missing numbers are 235, 236, 238, 239, 240, 242, 243 and 244. Hey Starry, the next example is very interesting. We have been given pairs of numbers. We have to insert the correct sign in between. I am sure you know what these signs mean. Yes, this sign is for greater than. This one's for smaller than. And this sign means both the numbers are equal. Okay, then let's start. Hey Starry, the first example is very simple. Both the numbers are same, that is 229. So which sign will come in between? Yes, the equal to sign. The second pair of numbers is 265 and 261. Which sign will be used, Starry? The numbers 265 and 261 have equal hundreds and tens. So, we compare the units. Can you tell which number has bigger units? Yes, 265 has 5 units and 261 has 1 unit. So the number 265 is greater than 261. The next pair of numbers is 238 and 283. Which sign should we insert, Starry? Yes, we insert the less than sign because on comparing the tens place, we see that 238 is less than 283. Out of 206 and 221, the number 206 is smaller than 221. Out of the numbers 228 and 218, which number is greater, Starry? Yes, 228 is greater than 218. Look at this last activity, Starry. Here are numbers between 201 to 300. We have to circle the odd numbers and put a square around the even numbers. This is simple, Starry. Let's do it fast. Number 218 is an even number as it has 8 in its units place. What about 271? Yes. 271 is an odd number because the digit in the units place is 1. Let us now circle the other odd numbers. Odd numbers are 285, 
209 and 213. The remaining numbers 280, 222 and 234 are even numbers. So, put a square around them. Are the numbers from 201 to 300 clear to you? Good! We will learn more numbers later.